All right, today we're gonna be finishing up the 110 L build I got going. I got a few of the parts already on there because they showed up at different times. I threw the wide foot pegs on there. As you can tell, there's a big difference there. I already painted the rims black on it and threw the new black levers on it pretty much, but I'll walk you through how I did each and one of those, kind of explain it to you. And what we have left to throw on there was the black plastics with the DBK graphic kit, FTP number plates. If you know, you know. If you don't, you're lost. Shifter lever and uh, over-the-top brake lever to throw on that. We're pretty much going to be using 8 mil all the way around for the graphics and for the shifter over here. This will be pretty simple. And then we're going to use a 10 mil for the brake lever over here. Take this off, take the cotter and pin, pull that, and then basically it'll go up and over the kickstart into here. So that'd be pretty nice. I guess we'll get into it. It's a cotter and pen there. I replaced it with a little uh, key fob, key ring. Well, all you do there is pull the cottering pen. You can tap the pin out. And what I did was held my finger on this spring in there so that it didn't even fall out. And you can unhook it there from the bottom. Your old, your old uh, foot peg and then just throw the new one on and have the spring sitting there so you don't even have to readjust or anything. Throw the pin back through and she's good to go. All right, so we got the build finished up. Really didn't record too much of the process of it, but I'll go through all the things that I put on it and kind of explain to you how I did it and the things I had to do while doing it. Forgot to show you the BBR tall seat in the first clip, but I got that added to it. So with the plastics, the only thing that I ran to putting them on was the rear fender. And as you can tell, the battery and all that sits inside of it. So you pretty much have to unhook all of that and take it out before you can slide the back fender off and out and everything. And that was kind of the tricky thing I ran into with the plastics. Another thing was the rear brake lever. To get this, the old one off, I had to take the peg mounts off the bottom and then slide this puppy on the top of it and put those back on and then tighten everything up and do my adjusting from there, from back here. <clears throat> um, the brake levers, those are pretty self-explanatory. You just got them. Loosen it up there. You got a wire that runs to the bottom right there. Slide in the hole there. The back and the shifter. The stock one was a 10 and this one was an eight mil to put it back on. But other than that, that's all for that. The rims, I painted myself. I took a 220 grit sandpaper to the chrome and basically sanded it all down and in between the spokes as good as I could and then hit it with a scotch bright after that and smoothed it out. I did a coat of self-etching primer and that's the most important thing was the self-etching because it gets into what what you grind it up and all sand it up and all that. And then I did two coats of the black spray paint and maybe two or three coats of uh, the protective clear coating. And that was for each front and back. And for taping off the rims, all I did was uh, cut up plastic straws the length, slit them open, and put them over there. And that worked out really well. Really no overspray on any of them. A little bit where the slit was, but that's way easier than taping off each individual spoke. 
And I just threw a rag over the center hub cap so I didn't spray it as I was spraying each side. But that pretty much finishes up the build that I got going right now. The tall seat is definitely nice. I think uh, with the L, it sits a little higher anyway, so it's a little bit of a difference, but on like a Honda, I think it would make a big difference. That pretty much wraps up the build.